Welcome to Papers, your personal library of research on your iPad and iPhone. We have completely redesigned Papers 3 for iOS from the ground up, and we're very excited to be showing some new features. To get started with our new library, let's first import some articles from Dropbox. Let's import some different files into our library. We will select one pages file, one word file, and one presentation file. It is now possible not only to import these different file types to papers for iOS, but also view them. Now we've opened the presentation file that we added to our library. Next, we'll open the pages file. And this is a Word document. There are some additional options available. You can share this document by mailing it out. You can open it in Dropbox or you can also print it. You can sort your library and view the entries by a variety of different parameters, including title, author, source, or whether you flagged an article. By selecting Edit, we can select multiple articles, and we can create a new collection to add these articles into. When you swipe downwards on your screen, at the top, a gray bar will appear with some recent articles that you've read or downloaded. We can view our collections that we've created and also create additional new collections. Let's add these articles to our new collection. We've brought Unified Search to Papers for iOS, and it is now possible to search simultaneously in any of the 25 repositories built into Papers. First, we will select the repositories we want to use in the settings. And you can see that they show up in the top blue bar. Now we can start a search. It is possible to narrow down your search with search tokens. And tap import to import any of the articles in the search results. When you open the article, you're presented with the option of adding the PDF to your library. Sharing is paramount, and sharing links to your articles on Twitter or Facebook is as easy as can be. By tapping on the library card, you can now open one article. It's easy to select some text, which can be used to match the article and obtain the metadata. By swiping across the metadata card, it will turn around and it will reveal the ratings and labels that you can use to label or rate this article. If you tap and hold a metadata card, it will enlarge the card. Again, you are presented with all the metadata available, and you can use this section to match the article. Let's rate and label a couple of articles to see what it looks like. A new function in Papers 3 for iOS is the Highlight mode. By selecting this mode, you can continuously highlight. Tapping the highlight again reveals the ability to change the color. A new feature in Papers 3 for iOS is the freehand annotation tool. Here you can draw directly on your PDF. It is the second mode available at the top next to highlighting. 
Also with freehand annotations you can change the color or remove it altogether. Underlining and striking out are new annotation tools available. Adding notes in the margins of your PDF is as easy as ever. Just select a notes function at the top of the screen. Now when we tap and hold the metadata card for this entry, we can see that the notes are available with the metadata. We can continue to edit the metadata for this article by adding keywords. Selecting text in the article also presents the option to search online. This allows for you to search for the terms in the article in any of the 25 built-in repositories. We can open any of the search results and subsequently also download the PDF to our library. Papers is a full workflow solution and with papers for your iPad or iPhone, your research is always at your fingertips. Welcome to the most revolutionary library of research that you have ever seen on your mobile device. Enjoy using papers.